news, politics, economic trends, and cutting edge issues. The Credit Report with Bill Lewis is brought to you by William A. Lewis Jr. and Associates, a solutions based professional consulting firm specializing in the discriminating individual, business, or governmental entity. Join the discussion live right now. Call toll free 888 721 0074. That's 888 721 0074. Now, here's Bill Lewis. All right, Bill Lewis here. Bill Lewis on the Credit Report, AM 1470, AM 740, wherever you hear this voice, wherever you hear the voice on the dial. And, of course, each and every morning, 7 a.m. till 8 a.m., well, you know, BC Broadcasting's uh, 740. And, of course, we broadcast at night, 1470, WWNN, 9 p.m. And, of course, if you don't get us coming, you can get us going. Tune in. And the Credit Report with Bill Lewis is a daily forum for business and financial news, politics, economic trends, as well as cutting-edge issues. Going to return to an old favorite today. A lot of people, a lot of individuals, uh, callers, and actually I've gotten emails over the last couple of weeks wanting to know more about those other consumer credit reports. You know, as the economy, you know, starts to show some sort of or signs of improvement, and of course, uh, individuals are repairing or attempting to restore their credit or good name and reputation within the community. They're finding out that there, there are more credit bureaus, additional credit bureaus, in addition to, well, you know, we say addition two or three extra times, that would work, right? But Equifax, Experion, and TransUnion. And, of course, you know, today, the other consumer reports, what you should know about specialty reports. And, of course, in the past, we spoke about, you know, whether or not you're going to be a good employee, whether or not you're likely to wreck your car, you know, if you've had issues in the past with your checking account, uh, whether or not you've written bad checks, you're frequently overdrawn. And, of course, for those of you out there, in poor health or declining health, you wonder, hmm, poor health, declining health, is that going to show up somewhere? You know, how about the specialty credit reports that are going to determine whether or not you're going to default or could default or strategically default on your mortgage? Did you know there's specialty credit reporting agencies out there that do that now? And, of course, home damage, insurance uh, claims. Has your home had water damage in the past? you know that there's a consumer reporting agency that will report you if you make too many flood claims? You know, and of course, there are other consumer reporting agencies to determine whether or not you're likely to trash your apartment or vacate with the rent unpaid, you know, prior to or before the end of your term. And of course, I wish I would subscribe to one or two of those services. That would certainly help me out with some of the, the property I have up in Central Florida. But, you know, these are some of the questions, the unspoken questions that are asked by employers, landlords, creditors, insurers, banks, uh, and you, obviously, the consumer, you, the individual, you know, as you make your way through the normal affairs of adult life, as you make your way through uh, just life in general, the everyday existence, and, you know, to the company that you're going to apply for a job with, uh, if you're going to get an insurance policy, whether it be a car insurance policy, whether it be life insurance or some other sort of insurance policy, you know, they want to know about you. And, of course, renting an apartment. You know, do you, do you personally represent some sort of risk? You know, what about the unknown? You know, these companies, these financial institutions, these employers, landlords, creditors, insurers, and so on, you know, they want to know more about you. You know, there's this need in society to assess the risk, their risk in dealing with you. And of course, you know, you're not going to be asked these questions outright. Nobody's going to tell you that. Nobody's going to tell you that they're pulling these sneaky, pesky reports on you. You know, these companies that want to rate your risk level, you know, they're turning more and more ever to specialty consumer reports to find out about you. And on the other side of the break, we're going to talk. In fact, we're going to discuss this the whole show today. So if you have any questions, thoughts, or complaints, comments, concerns, want to learn more about those other agencies, give us a ring at 888-721-0074. Foreclosure. It's one of the worst things you can imagine. You never expected to be in this position, and now you feel anxious, stressed, and you have no idea what to do. And lenders keep foreclosing when modifying or short-selling is the most obvious course of action. I'm attorney Carlos Reyes, and I have good news. My firm and our team have specialized in real estate law for more than 20 years, and we can help you sort out your foreclosure defense. First, we will obligate the lender to prove their case. Then we will exhaust every possible option to get your loan modified or settled so that you can have the peace of mind you deserve. Our motto is simple, justice for all, and that includes you. Today, more than ever, contacting a foreclosure defense law firm who understands the process can help you aggressively litigate your case, negotiate your loan modification, or successfully close your short sale transaction. You deserve a passionate voice to help you defend your property and preserve your rights. 
Call the Reyes Law Group to arrange a complimentary consultation. Call toll-free 800-528-7720. That's 800-528-7720. Or visit our website at www.reyeslegal.com. The hiring of an attorney is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. Ask for free written information about the firm's qualifications and experience. This is the Credit Report with Bill Lewis. Your opinion matters. Call us live on the air right now, toll free, 888-721-0074. That's 888-721-0074. Now, once again, here's Bill Lewis. All right. Thanks, Greg Cooper, doing a great job there with the introduction. Today's topic, specialty consumer reports, you know, the players, the who, the what, the when, the where, the why. And, of course, wanting to know whether or not you're going to be a good employee, have an issue with your car, your checking account. Do you're in poor health or going to default on the mortgage? You know, these are some of the unspoken questions that are asked by employers, landlords, creditors, insurers, banks, financial institutions. And they want to just know, you know, are you a good risk? Are you a bad risk? You know, it's a it's a question that we have in everyday society. And sometimes you can't find this information on the Equifax, Experion, or TransUnion Consumer Reports. And, of course, we speak so much or spoken in the past about, you know, credit, credit repair, credit repair 101, and how to restore your good name and reputation. And once or twice in the past, we've spoken about the other agencies, the specialty consumer reporting agencies, and most of you out there are unfamiliar with the fact that these agencies exist in the shadow. You know, these agencies, of course, that are regulated by the Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act, you know, cover the reports about your overall financial health. Well, you know, credit reports, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, they allow lenders and financial institutions to see whether or not you pay your bills on time, have filed for bankruptcy, uh, have outstanding court judgments or collection actions against you. But, you know, despite its name, Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act under Title 15 United States Code, it covers a lot more than credit reports. That's right, Fair Credit Reporting Act. You think, ooh, credit repair, credit reports. You know, how these things report on the credit reporting agencies of Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. But you know what? Credit reports are just one of a broader category of consumer reports that are covered by the Fair Credit Reporting Act itself. And we'll call it the FCRA because that's the particular and correct acronym for that. And of course, you know, in the past we've spoken about, you know, how private your credit report is, how good your credit is, and Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. But you know, these consumer reports, okay, under the specialty consumer category, they can also include reports about either made to employers, you know, if you quit a job, you know, if you're left out of negative circumstances, and of course, insurance companies, banks, landlords, etc. And in recent years, many new companies have sprouted. There are a lot of companies out there that have sprouted that are compiling reports that are specifically targeted at employers insurers and landlords. And of course, these companies, they compile reports for targeted users. They're considered consumer reporting agencies under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, just like the national credit reporting agencies of Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And of course, these companies, uh, they compile reports on consumers for other than credit, other than credit uh, purposes, you know, vehicle loans, home loans, things like that. And they're designated or have been designated by Congress as national, I'm sorry, national or nationwide uh, specialty consumer reporting agencies. And of course, these agencies themselves, uh, other than Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, they compile reports about uh, much more than just your credit history. Now, of course, the examples that I spoke about, you know, did you know that there's a company out there called Medical Information Bureau? Well, Medical Information Bureau, MIB, covers medical conditions. Do you have any problem? Have you had medical problems? Do you have medical issues? Well, how about Rent Bureau? Or rent safe, you know, they cover residential or tenant history as well as evictions. If you've ever been uh, evicted or, or thrown out of a house, you're going to show up on rent safe or rent bureau. Do you have an issue with check writing, you know, bad checks and stuff? Well, you're going to show up either in telecheck or check systems. And how about employment background screening? You know, if you have an issue there, well, you know, Lexus Nexus screening solutions, you know, they're going to be able to uh, pull up a report on you. They're going to be able to find out if you've had any issues. And how about CLUE, C-L-U-E, the CLUE report? They're going to be able to pull up any homeowner or auto insurance claims that you've had. If you've had issues or concerns, uh, you know, medical, residential, tenant history, check writing, employment backgrounds, homeowner or, or auto insurance, you know what? You're going to show up in this category, this category they call the specialty subcategory 
of consumer reporting agencies. And the specialty subcategory of consumer reporting agencies was specifically identified in amendments of the Fair Credit Reporting Act that were made by the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act a few years ago. And of course, you can go to my website at williamlewis.us. That's www.williamlewis.us to learn more about the FACT Act, you know, the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, and the like. But remember, in speaking, in, uh, we're actually talking about it in the past, the FACT Act itself uh, provides and gives consumers the right to free credit reports, and we talk about that. In fact, I've spoken about that recently, the, the right to obtain a free credit report each year from the three national consumer reporting agencies of Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. But um, there, there's more to it. I mean, you know, this specialty category here, this specialty consumer reports and the players, and of course, you know, we've spoken about that, we've talked about that. Oh, by the way, get your pen and paper out, because I'm going to give you telephone numbers and websites later on in the show that you can order copies of these credit reports, these specialty consumer reports, and learn just what it is that's being reported about you under the Fair Credit Reporting Act as modified by the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act. And of course, the information... You know, you say to yourself, hmm, you know, what information goes into these specialty reports? Well, specialty consumer reporting agencies operate much like credit bureaus. You know, the agencies collect information about you from a variety of sources, uh, including public records. You know, they want to know more about uh, your public records of, say, criminal cases, arrests, or convictions. You know, even civil cases. You know, have you been evicted? Do you have a foreclosure? Do you have issues there? And, of course, there are subset categories of specialty bureaus that provide certain relevant factors in relation to credit history, you know, such as bankruptcy filings or, or tax liens and things like that. And of course, there are companies out there uh, that you have existing or prior business relationships with, such as insurance companies or bank or financial institutions. Would you be surprised to know that they actually report information concerning and about you, sometimes on a monthly or quarterly or semi-annual or annual type basis? Poof, you won't know until you show up in the specialty consumer report. You've been denied somewhere. And how about driver's records? There's companies out there that do the same as well. So, you know, there are companies that do this, and from this particular their information of these specialty reporting agencies, they compile these reports based on the requirements of a targeted user. You know, if you're an insurance company, they want to know more about, you know, your crash record or your driver's record in relation to automobile insurance. They may also pull, you know, a credit score to determine what type of risk you are. And of course, you know, if you're getting life insurance or health insurance, they're pulling other type of reports such as uh, the MIB report to find out if you have any issues, you know, uh, or if you're good health or bad health. And of course, employers, if you're going out to get a job, you know, they have these Lexus Nexus searches. They have accurate, they have secure. There's a lot of companies out there that provide these particular services to employers. Oh, and landlords. And this is something I should subscribe to because, you know, uh, you know, I try in the past to to do the right thing as far as, you know, being a good landlord up in Seabring and Lake Placid, Avon Park. But, you know, it's like, poof, you know what? Sometimes you have to overlook the good, the bad, the indifferent, and uh, it's not really helping. But you know what? The landlords can pull these particular reports, the rent save for the rent bureau reports to be able to help them. So, uh, you know, you'd be able to learn whether or not these tenants uh, have been evicted in the past. All right. My name is Bill Lewis. The name of the show is The Credit Report. Bill Lewis here on AM740 WSBR. If you have any questions, thoughts, uh, concerns, or complaints, you can give us a ring at 888-721-0074. Today's topic is uh, specialty consumer reporting agencies. Have your pen and paper ready because we're going to start giving out telephone numbers and websites on how to order these uh, particular reports. And uh, if you've got any questions for me personally, you can give call to our daily office is 954-337-1530. That's 954-337-1530. Visit our website, williamlewis.us. Viking Realty Group, covering all of South Florida, wants to help you. Whether it's buying, selling, investing, or just searching, you'll need an agent who understands technology and who knows how to apply it to all your real estate needs. Call 954-949-6075 or toll free at 866-800-6838. Their easy-to-use website, vikingrealtygroup.com, is the place where you can search the listings in your area. Viking Realty Group is a short sale and listing specialist with a 95% success rate of having deficiency judgments waived. They keep their clients informed at all times, and all short sales are processed in-house to ensure you don't become just another number. Call and make an appointment today, 954-949-6075, or toll-free at 866-800-6838. Check out Viking's website vikingrealtygroup.com viking realty group helping people with all their real estate needs do you have a problem and need help 
when you need someone to turn to, someone who listens, someone who knows where to find the support you need. Just pick up the phone and dial 211. We can help. 211 Helpline is available 24 hours a day to provide information to help you through life struggles. If you need someone to talk to or a service to connect to, we're there for you. It's so easy. Just dial 211. We can help. Call now. This is the Credit Report with Bill Lewis. Your opinion matters. Call us live on the air right now, toll free, 888-721-0074. That's 888-721-0074. Now, once again, here's Bill Lewis. All right, Bill Lewis here, 888-721-0074. Today's uh, topic, other consumer reports, what you should know about those specialty credit reporting agencies, you know. Uh, whether or not you'd be a good employee, whether or not you've had issues with your car, overdrawn checking accounts, good health, bad health, foreclosures on your house, uh, evictions from an apartment that you may have had. And, of course, you know, these are some of the unspoken questions that are asked by employers, landlords, creditors, insurers, and banks, uh, financial institutions, and others out there. They want to know whether or not you represent a good risk. And right before the break, you know, we spoke about uh, what information goes into a report. And, of course, these specialty consumer reporting agencies, they operate much like the credit bureaus of Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Uh, they collect information about you from a variety of sources, including uh, public records, uh, you know, criminal cases, civil cases, uh, credit histories from Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, little-known company out there called the Novus, even bankruptcy filings and companies that you've had an existing or prior business relationship with, such as insurance companies or banks or other financial institutions, and even uh, doctor's records, medical information, and prescription services. Do you know that there's a company out there that actually tracks prescription records? Records. So, you know, if you're utilizing your correct name and data, you know, you can track some of the uh, the pills that you've taken, some of the antibiotics or painkillers or just whatever it is that you are taking. And, of course, you know, your medical records by itself. And there are other agencies out there that compile driver's records, you know, and the feasibility and practicality of whether or not you're a good driver, you're going to have an accident, uh, you know, other issues, or if you've had more than one or two, say, stolen cars in the past. But, you know, the information from these specialty reporting agencies that are compiled, they're based upon the requirements of targeted users, such as these insurance companies, employers, or landlords out there. And you say to yourself, well, how do I know about these agencies? How do I know if there's a specialty report on me? Well, you know, it's unfortunate, uh, unfortunate circumstance. Unlike Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, if you're listening to my voice, you know, odds are that you have at least one credit report at these agencies. You know, and I say odds are because, you know, anybody that's over the age of 18 should have a credit report with Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. But it's unfortunate. Most consumers out there, they're in the dark, completely in the dark, about the very existence of specialty consumer reports, specialty consumer reporting agencies, and even what is contained in these reports. And usually people only learn about these companies or these reports after having denied a job or insurance or an apartment rental. And, of course, you know, in talking about this today, I'm going to give out phone numbers to, to you guys so you can sit there and... And uh, pay attention, you know, listen up, learn up, you know, find out, you know, whether or not you have a report, if, whether or not there's any adverse information. And you say to yourself, well, you know, what's involved in these reports? What's involved in the making of these reports, these specialty reports? And much the same as credit reports. You know, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they impose certain obligations on the specialty reporting companies. You know, users of these reports and those, of course, that furnish information that go into the filing or compiling or um, – dissemination of these reports. And the Fair Credit Reporting Act gives you, the subject, you, the individual of these reports, certain rights out there. And just like the credit bureaus of Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, these specialty consumer reporting agencies do not make decisions about whether to rent you an apartment, you know, to give or grant you that job, or to write an insurance policy. You know, those decisions, they're left up to the landlord, the employer, the insurance company. And of course, you know, the Fair Credit Reporting Act specifically prohibit those companies from, you know, allowing or giving or rendering such a decision, but it's much the same as credit reporting. You know, you get a three-digit score, 350 to 850. You know, how do you size up? I mean, if you have a credit score of like 350 to like 650, I mean, who wants to give you credit? You know, they want you to be between like, say, 650, or in some cases, they drop it to 620, but, you know, up towards 850. But, you know, these companies out there come out with these risk-based scores, these risk-based decisions out there. And, of course, the decisions on whether or not, you know, to rent you an apartment, give you a job, or write an insurance policy is less specifically to those companies. And, of course, you know, we talk about the, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. 
and how they treat each of the players in the game. I mean, you know, say the furnisher of the information. Well, the furnisher, you know, is those that feed the information to the consumer reporting agency. They have an obligation to furnish only accurate information. And this holds true whether the furnisher provides information to a credit bureau, such as Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, uh, to a tenant screening company, uh, a medical information service, such as, say, MIB out there, or other entities, okay, that meet the definition of consumer reporting agency. And, of course, providers of information also have an obligation to update and correct inaccurate information. And, of course, you know, you, the consumer, you, the individual, have a right to know what's in these reports and to be able to correct or request an investigation of any perceived inaccurate or obsolete data that's on the report. And of course, you know, the obligations under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, you know, the Federal Trade Commission actually has a great um, – section on their website talking about these specialty consumer reporting agencies. If you go to FTC.gov, that's FTC for Federal Trade Commission.gov, and pull up the publication, What Information Providers Need to Know, well, you know, at FTC.gov, you'll be able to get that and that publication concerning specialty consumer reporting agencies and what information providers need to know. It'll tell you the who, what, when, where, and why, and what type of hoops and hurdles they have to go through, as well as the dotted I's and the cross T's. Now, of course, we spoke of the furnishers of the information. That's who feed these agencies, feed these companies. But how about the users of specialty consumer reports? Well, the users of specialty consumer reports, they include um, landlords, insurers, employers out there. And just like a lender who turns you down or makes a determination concerning a loan application or a credit card, these users of specialty consumer report, they must give you what's called an adverse action notice. You know, if you're declined an apartment, a particular insurance policy or a job, you know, and it's as a result of one of these reports, they must provide you immediately an adverse action notice along with a copy of the report. You know, so if you've been turned down for, like I said, the apartment rental based on the report, you've been denied an insurance policy due to information or adverse information in the report, you know, or a job per se, you're entitled to a copy of that report. And you can go to the FTC.gov website, and they'll give you some more information on that. And by the end of today, I'll have some information up on my website at williamlewis.us that you can actually click and, you know, poke and prod on and learn more about these specialty consumer reporting agencies, you know, those other bureaus out there, those pesky agencies that most of you are totally and completely in the dark about. And, of course, the nationwide specialty consumer reporting agencies, just like Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, you know, the traditional credit bureaus, they have certain obligation when making reports about you. And, for example, these reports, they can only be issued for purposes that are allowed under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And that means there are time limits on how long negative information can be reported. Uh, you can obviously dispute information. And when you dispute information that's contained in one of these specialty consumer reports, the reporting agency itself has an obligation, an obligation affirmative to investigate and correct any inaccurate, outdated, antiquated, or um, fraudulent information that's contained in the profile. And the reporting agency that compiles, uh, say, public record information for employment purposes, they have an additional obligation under the Fair Credit Reporting Act when that information is likely to have an adverse effect on your ability to get a job. You know, they have to make sure that the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and they've gone through those additional hurdles to make sure that that information is true, accurate, and fail-safe. And, of course, you, the individual, you, the consumer, you have a right to a free copy of the consumer report, these specialty consumer reports. When an adverse action or some sort of, you know, negative determination or decision is taken against you based on information in that report. And, of course, you know, an adverse action, like I said, turned down for employment, denied insurance, charge higher premiums on insurance. And, by the way... If you have car insurance, you know, let's say you've been with Geico or State Farm or all these other companies out there, you may want to go back and ask them to re-rate you because you may have had issues in the past. You've gotten car insurance. Let's say you had a couple credit problems. Well, you, did you know that those car insurance companies may have, uh, you know, assessed a risk upon you? or risk-based pricing that was a little higher than maybe it's now, now that you've been a customer of the uh, the insurance company for one, two, three, four years, or even greater. It's like, wait a second, I'm a good customer. I have no claims against me. I have no issues or concerns. You know, go back and ask them to rate you because at the end of the day, your original rating was based upon and predicated upon information that day, the day of your application. If you're a better citizen, more model citizen, you've had fewer problems with insurance or your driving record, you know what? You're in, you're 
could get a rate down. You know, tell them, listen, I'm getting ready to leave. If you don't rate me down, give me a better policy. I'm up out of here. And of course, you know, there are some companies uh, that if you call their retention departments, they'll do that. So keep in mind, though, free reports. You're entitled to get a copy of that report if you're turned down for employment, rental insurance, checking account, whatever. And you can order a free copy of your specialty credit report directly from the nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency that was the target, the focus of that particular investigation or that report. And of course, you're entitled to one free report from each specialty consumer reporting agency once per year under the Fair Credit Reporting Act as modified by the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act. I mean, how often have you heard me talk about free credit reports, annual credit reports, ordering them from the credit bureaus? Well, you know what? You're entitled to a free copy from these specialty consumer reporting agencies as well. And your right to free annual credit reports from these specialty agencies? Well, you know, there's no centralized source. There's no centralized source for the data. It's unlike Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion that you can go online to www.annualcreditreport.com and just pull a copy of that report. No, no, it's not happening here. There's no centralized source for obtaining these free specialty reports. The requests themselves must be made directly to each specialty consumer reporting agency. And, of course, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission regulations, uh, they do not require nationwide specialty consumer reporting agencies to establish a website. Uh, they only allow them to... Uh, you know, for mail-in requests or through mail or toll-free numbers. And, of course, you know, the requirement of these specialty agencies to have a toll-free number uh, can be published, obviously, on the website or any website that the company does business. But they're not required, okay, to establish a website. You know, they're required to have mail-in requests. They're required to have toll-free numbers. And the toll-free number has to be published anywhere the company does business. And requests, of course, that are processed, uh, otherwise, such as through the website, if they have one or by the mail, they're optional, the optional service. A lot of these nationwide specialty agencies have posted information on their business websites, but if you don't pay attention and you really don't know about it, you're not going to know how to order these reports. You're not going to know they exist because there's only going to be a little button on there that says information on reports or information or further information. And of course, these specialty reporting agencies, um, the specialty reporting agencies themselves, they're restricted under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. They can only collect as much information as necessary to identify you. Uh, generally, that's the same information that's necessary for a free credit reports, such as name, address, social security number, and date of birth. Uh, they have to give you, they have to provide you, especially if you ask for an update of the status of your request, meaning, of course, is that has that request been processed? Has the Bureau, the Specialty Bureau report been mailed to you? But remember, keep in mind that there's no time limit on your request or when that request must be processed, unlike the free credit reporting provisions under the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act that state it must be processed within 72 hours. And these companies, though, must provide a help or a frequently asked question screen. Uh, requests are processed online. If they do have a website, they have to give you information on how to correct or fix or uh, otherwise have investigated inaccurate, erroneous, obsolete information on the report. And of course, a FAQ section for frequently uh, asked questions. And of course, the Federal Trade Commission's website at www.ftc.gov, if you click on a section, it has uh, specialty consumer reports. There'll be additional information there on your rights, how to get free credit reports, free specialty reports, and of course, some of the names of some of those companies. On the other side of the break, we'll start giving out the telephone numbers. Be ready. Telephone numbers, websites, and you can check out those uh, agencies and see if they maintain reports on you. Do they have any negative information, adverse information? Well, you'll find out. My name is Bill Lewis. The name of the show is The Credit Report with Bill Lewis on AM740 WSBR each and every morning, 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Of course, you can go on the website, wsbrradio.com, click on the link that says um, Listen Live, 9 o'clock at night, AM 1470 WWNN, 9 o'clock each and every night. And of course, the weekends, a couple different... Uh, Spots on the weekends here. You can tune in on AM740 WSBR and AM 1470 as well as uh, streaming audio. No, no streaming video. And, of course, uh, through some of the uh, respective streaming video streams, or actually audio streams that they have. So I'll talk more about that later. Bill Lewis here, 888-721-0074. Foreclosure. It's one of the worst things you can imagine. You never expected to be in this position, and now you feel anxious, stressed, and you have no idea what to do. And lenders keep foreclosing when modifying or short-selling is the most obvious course of action. I'm attorney Carlos Reyes, and I have good news. My firm and our team have specialized in real estate law for more than 20 years, and we can help you sort out your foreclosure defense. First, we will obligate the lender to prove their case. Then we will exhaust every possible option to get your loan modified or settled so that you can have the peace of mind you deserve. 
Our motto is simple, justice for all, and that includes you. Today, more than ever, contacting a foreclosure defense law firm who understands the process can help you aggressively litigate your case, negotiate your loan modification, or successfully close your short sale transaction. You deserve a passionate voice to help you defend your property and preserve your rights. Call the Reyes Law Group to arrange a complimentary consultation. Call toll-free 800-528-7720. That's 800-528-7720. Or visit our website at www.reyeslegal.com. The hiring of an attorney is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. Ask for free written information about the firm's qualifications and experience. You served your country. Now, the Veterans Crisis Line is here to serve you. If you're a veteran in crisis or know a veteran who is, help is available. Call the Veterans Crisis Line today at 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. Or chat online at www.veteranscrisisline.net. It's your call. This is the Credit Report with Bill Lewis. Your opinion matters. Call us live on the air right now, toll free, 888-721-0074. That's 888-721-0074. Now, once again, here's Bill Lewis. All right, 888-721-0074. You know, today our topic, specialty consumer reporting agencies, you know, those unspoken questions that are asked by employers, landlords, creditors, insurers, banks, financial institutions, and other out there, and of course, what goes into making the specialty reports? You know, what type of information is going to be there? Did you even know they existed? I mean, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, they're required under the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act to give you a free annual credit report. Well, you know what? These agencies, they are too. The only thing is, if you don't know about them, you can't order, you can't apply. And of course, you know, are you going to get the same information in these reports uh, that the insurers, the landlords, the employers, or other businesses get out there? Well, Right before the breaks, I spoke about the specialty reporting agencies. In ordering reports, they can only collect as much information as necessary to identify you, which is generally the same information necessary for a free credit report or annual credit report, such as the the name, the address, social security number, say your date of birth. And they have to give you, they have to provide, they must in fact give you an update of the status of any request, you know, for the report or any investigation results. You know, there is no time limit though on how often the request or how uh, quickly the request must be processed, and that's something that must have been left out uh, of the law, unlike the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which states that Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion have to investigate a dispute within 30 to 45 days, depending upon the type and style and purpose of the dispute. There is no specific uh, response time in relation to these specialty consumer reports, but you will find that the majority of them do complete the investigations within 30 to 45 days. And of course, these companies have to provide you a, a help section, a frequently answered question screen if the requests are processed on that line, so that way you learn how to dot the I's and cross the T's. And the wonderful website I talk about, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC.gov, they provide further information about your rights, the responsibilities, how to get free uh, specialty consumer reports. And if you go online to FC, FTC.gov, you know, there's a link there that says specialty consumer reporting agencies. And with the specialty consumer reporting agencies, you can learn more about that in the sections of the guide in which they provide that uh, give you information. Okay, about the specialty consumer reports and other similar products out there. And, of course, some of these reports, some of these specialty reports, uh, one or two companies out there, they totally and completely dominate the market, such as LexisNexis, you know, Westlaw, LexisNexis out there. And it means it's going to be easy for you uh, to find out where to direct your request to if you go to to sites like that. And I'll give out the websites in a couple moments. But for other areas, such as employment or, say, rental history, uh, these specialty reports, they may be prepared. They are prepared by a lot of different companies out there. And as I indicated, LexisNexis. Now, LexisNexis maintains a wide variety of information on consumers, uh, insu- including insurance claims, uh, employment, tenant history out there. Uh, and this company has information on its website about how to obtain these types of reports of uh, the free specialty consumer reporting agencies. If you go online to HTTPS, uh, slash slash person reports dot lexis dot com you can get that and of course you can go online just to lexis nexus that's l e x i s 
and exis.com and of course they'll give you the different links on how to order these consumer reports and the next question you probably have is that whether or not you're going to get or be provided the same information that these insurers these landlords these employers or other businesses get and you say to yourself hmm am i going to get the same information well you know in these reports the fair credit reporting act you know they they give you a right to the uh, free file disclosure there is a difference, though, between the FCRA report that is provided to the company versus yourself. And what it is basically is uh, the report that's provided to you is dumbed down a little bit. You know how I mentioned the help section or the section which says frequently answer questions? Well, the reports that are provided to the businesses out there, the landlords, the insurers and stuff, you know, generally they're coded. You know, and they're coded, you know, industry speak, industry speak in which the, uh, the consumer generally really doesn't know about. But there is a difference here. And, of course, under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, this consumer – report that is provided includes any written, oral, or other communication of any information by a consumer reporting agency that bears on your credit worthiness, your credit standing, your credit capability, your character, your general reputation, personal characteristics, or even mode of living out there. But the file is a little bit different because the file is all of the information on you that's recorded and retained by a consumer reporting agency, regardless of how the information is stored. And what that basically means is the report, the document that's provided to the employer, the landlord, the insurer, the creditor, other agency out there, that reflects information that's collected and compiled at any given time. Okay, in your file... Okay, the file on the other hand is the information that the consumer reporting agency maintains about you and is required under the law to give you under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And of course, your right to a free file disclosure is to your file, not necessarily to the complete report, even though for the most part these companies out there will provide you the exact same report. It'll just be dumbed down a little bit, you know, where you could actually read and understand it. And LexisNexis provides those specific reports. And of course, moving on, you know, insurance claims reports. You know, there's specialty reporting agencies out there that tell insurers about claims that you've made against homeowners uh, or automobile insurance policies. Well, they're prepared by two companies. Well, you know, LexisNexis is the first one. You go to LexisNexis.com. But the other one is called ISO Insurance Services. You know, and the ISO Insurance Services, if you get the, uh, the product there, you can go online to www.iso. Dot com, ISO.com, and they'll provide the information concerning insurance claims reports on you. Uh, and in order to request a free A-plus loss history report, you know, which is essentially called the A-plus consumer report, well, that report through LexisNexis, okay, will come at LexisNexis.com. LexisNexis.com. You can order it at WIS. I'm sorry, correction, www.iso.com. You know, so basically it's iso.com. You can obtain a copy of the A-plus loss history report, which is actually called the A-plus consumer report. Uh, ISO has a telephone number that you can go online, or actually on the phone with it, 800-627-3487. So in order to order the A-plus consumer report, Give them a ring at 800-627-3487, online at ISO.com or LexisNexis.com. Like I said, LexisNexis, one of the largest companies, ISO Insurance Services, small specialty company, order each of those reports. Don't just order one because one company may have information that the other one does not have. And, of course, you can order a copy of your clue report, you know, if you're clueless about your automobile or your homeowner's insurance policy and the reports and claims that may have been put on there, you can order a copy of the Clue Report. LexisNexis has a toll-free number. Okay, the LexisNexis number for the Clue Report is 866-312-8076. That's 866-312-8076. 8076, and you can order a copy of the Clue Report to determine what type of automobile or insurance or homeowner type issues that you have. Now, of course, for you people out there that have prescription drug problems, and there are, there are a lot of you out there, you know, that have prescription drug problems. You know, whether you're, you know, you're overdosing a little bit too much in those painkillers. Did you know that there is actually an agency out there, you know, that pays attention to these things? You know, especially if they're prescribed through a real doctor. I'm not necessarily talking about these pain clinics, but if you have a regular doctor, you know, they have the medical information bureau out there the medical information bureau is a nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency that compiles and maintains records concerning your individual life your individual health your individual long-term care as well as your individual disability insurance and generally speaking you've got to have an mib report only if you've applied for one of these insurance products within the last seven years so if you've applied for uh, life insurance 
health insurance, long-term care, disability insurance out there, you're going to have an MIB report. Okay, there's going to be one out there, and you really should get a copy of that report. You're going to find out whether or not there's any issues. You know, you've heard Ben Nemeth on the show here before, and you know, talking about life insurance. And you know, I recently re-upped and added some uh, insurance to my policy, added another million dollars, and you know, they rated me up based on information that was in my MIB report. And would you believe when I pulled a copy of the MIB report, they had the wrong dates on my bariatric surgery? You know, a lot of the questions on the insurance application when I applied for another million dollars worth of life insurance a few months ago were were 10-year questions, 10-year relevancy questions. They asked, have you had any major surgeries in 10 years? And, you know, like, no, 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 no. And they came back like I was lying. And it's like, wait a second. So instead of them showing the bariatric surgery as being in 2001, okay, as it really was, you know, the end of 2001 there, they showed it as 2007. So it appeared as though I was lying. And the IMIB report upon dispute corrected it. You know, the doctors and the records and everything came back to show it was 2001. They took the seven, corrected it to a one, and they rated the life insurance down. So to give you that information, the Medical Information Bureau, you know, that nationwide uh, specialty consumer reporting agency that compiles and maintains these records, it's very important. If you're applying for life insurance, health insurance, long-term care, disability insurance, and things like that, you got to know. If you've done something in the last seven years or applied for one of these products, you will have an MIB report. And you've got to remember is that if there's no significant medical condition, if you've not applied for insurance as an individual, you're not necessarily likely to have the report. But you've got to remember uh, – this report itself, it includes information that you have reported on, say, an insurance application, uh, something that an insurance company has obtained from your health care insurance provider, something that indicates a medical condition, something that indicates a, a medical condition that insurance companies should consider or will consider significant. You know, I just gave you the um, my scenario about the bariatric when I did the weight loss surgery 10 years ago. Well, it was dated wrong. Instead of it being 2001, it said 2007, so it appeared as though I lied on the application instead of having a 10-year uh, ago surgery it showed like about five years ago so that was a problem and of course we got that fixed but you know these the significance of this report you know they have uh, 230 different codes for these medical conditions asthma diabetes high blood pressure depression uh, if you have an issue you know there's 230 different issues that you can have that would show up in this mib report so if you're going to apply for life insurance health insurance long-term care disability insurance you know what take five minutes and apply for this report ahead of time you know, make sure that there are no issues that are unresolved. And if there are issues that are unresolved, correct them. All right, Medical Information Bureau, MIB's toll-free number for disclosure. It's 866-692-6901. That's uh, 866-692-6901. And, of course, the company's website, www.mib.com. That's mib.com. And that's the Medical Information Bureau, this nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency that compiles and maintains records concerning individual life, health care, long-term care, disability insurance, and the like. Once again, that's 866-692-6901. All right. Uh, on the other side of the break, you know, we'll talk about IntelliScript and MedPoint, these databases that uh, report prescription drug purchases. Purchases. Oof. Did you know that there are bureaus now that have uh, prescription drug purchases? And if you're using your real name and your real information, going to a real doctor, getting a real script, and going to Publix or Winn-Dixie or Walmart or wherever you go, there's an IntelliScript or a MedPoint out on you and uh, find out just... Uh, just what you've been prescribed. All right, Bill Lewis here. The name of the show is The Credit Report. Bill Lewis here on AM740 WSBR. Questions, comments, complaints, give me a ring at 866, uh, I'm sorry, 877-721. Actually, you know what? We'll do that. 888-721-0074. It's time for more coffee. And of course, I give out too many phone numbers here. Station's number 888-721-0074. <laughs> Viking Mortgage should be your first call when you need a mortgage or to refinance. Call 954-606-6608 or toll free at 888-879-9959. Viking Mortgage, providing all types of financing, offers FHA, VA, conventional, jumbo loans, and hard equity loan programs. Viking Mortgage also offers the HARP Government Affordable Refinancing Program. 
For more details, call 954-606-6608 or toll free at 888-879-9959. Viking Mortgage will provide you with a fast, knowledgeable qualification process to ensure you get the best possible program available for you. Viking Mortgage covers all of South Florida with the main office located in Broward County. Call them for a free qualification today. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Viking Mortgage can be reached at 954-606-6608 or toll free at 888-879-9959. Viking Mortgage Group is an equal housing opportunity lender. You, my friend, have connections in the government. Yes, you. USA.gov, the official source for government information on thousands of topics. And like any good connection, there's no telling where it can take you. Why, one day you're getting student loan information. Next thing you know, you need job hunting tips. Today's road construction info could have you searching for telecommuting ideas tomorrow. The more you use USA.gov, the more uses you'll find for it. Passport applications, for example. They've been known to lead to a sudden interest in travel advisories. Our new mobile apps will even update you on the go. So whether you have information to get or ideas to give your government, check out USA.gov. Who knows? Lottery results today could lead to retirement planning tomorrow. USA.gov. With the right connections, there's no telling where you can go. This is the Credit Report with Bill Lewis. Your opinion matters. Call us live on the air right now, toll free, 888-721-0074. That's 888-721-0074. Now, once again, here's Bill Lewis. Yeah, I'm getting these text messages. I mean, you know, like talking too fast, and I'm like, you know, i got to get an hour and 15 minutes of of content into a one-hour show. So I'm like, how do you like me now? All right, the insurance claim reports here, last segment here. You know, we talked about uh, the MIB reports and stuff like that, the Medical Information Bureau, these nationwide specialty consumer reporting agencies that compile information. Well, moving on, IntelliScript and MedPoint, you know, these databases that report prescription drug purchase histories to insurance companies, just like the MIB reports, IntelliScript and MedPoint reports are used primarily when consumers are seeking private health insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, insurance and the like. And these prescription drug databases, they go back as far as five years. They detail the drugs used as well as the dosages and the refills. And, you know, they can actually be a good indicator of whether or not you doctor shop. And of course, you know, that's in Telescript as well as MedPoint there. With a history of prescription drugs in hand, these insurers out there, they make assumptions or they attempt to make or they may make assumptions about medical conditions and assess the risk of writing an insurance policy. And of course, there may be information on the prescription records that are not in your Medical Information Bureau report. You know, there's 230 codes at MIB there. Well, you know, with these prescription drugs in hand, these insurers out there that make these assumptions, if something is on the prescription report that is not on the MIB report, they can come out and say, you know what, we're going to assess you a higher risk on this insurance policy. And of course, information in an IntelliScript or MedPoint report, you know, they may prompt an insurer to deny coverage for certain conditions out there, uh, increase insurance premiums, deny coverage altogether for that matter. And such adverse actions by insurance companies, they they trigger the sequence of consumer rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And of course, until recently, uh, the use of these prescription drug databases was totally and completely unknown to consumers. You know, and insurers out there, they use these databases. They first came to light back in 2007 when the Federal Trade Commission sued Milliman, which is the owner of the IntelliScript database uh, in, in Ingenix, Ingenix Incorporated out there. That's the owner of the MedPoint database. And back in those claims, the Federal Trade Commission claimed that the companies uh, were consumer reporting agencies and that they were subject to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And these cases, both of these cases were settled without the data broker's paying a monetary penalty, but Milliman and Intenigix, or actually Ingenix, Ingenix, I try that, I-N-G-E-N-I-X, they agreed to follow. They agreed to submit themselves under the Fair Credit Report Act. So even though they didn't pay a monetary penalty, they agreed, you know what, you're right, Federal Trade Commission, we, we do fall under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and we are a specialty consumer reporting agency. And that means, of course, uh, that consumers, when they apply for private insurance and they're turned down because, say, of something in, in a report from IntelliScript or MedPoint, these reports, uh, they're entitled. You can get a copy 
of the report from the insurance company and an opportunity to dispute the accuracy of the information in their report. So if you are a pillhead and you have a problem you know, and uh, you uh, want to clean that report up, you can get in touch with those companies, Intellisgrip and MedPoint out there. And, of course, you can go online there, Intellisgrip reports. They're available uh, by calling their toll-free request line. That's right, Intellisgrip there. You can get your prescription report and just find out uh, what others are reporting that you're on. Their number is 877-211-4816. That's 877-211-4816. That's Intellisgrip and, of course, MedPoint. Uh, you can get a copy of that report at 888 888- Two zero six zero three three five. That's eight 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 two zero six zero three three five. Please order copies of both of those reports. Make sure that you get a copy of both reports and learn uh, what they're providing. You're going to have to provide your full name, your date of birth, the last four digits, your social security number, as well as your current zip code. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're going to get a good report, and that report's going to go back five years, five years on that report. And of course, uh, residential and tenant reports out there. For those of you out there that have issues, uh, these companies out there that report evictions and things like that, there are a number of companies that prepare reports for landlords concerning individuals who have applied for rental housing, uh, other type of housing. And of course, LexisNexis Screening Services and the LexisNexis Screening Solutions Resident History Report contains information related to your tenant history as well as other information regarding your background. You can obtain a copy of that report at 877 877- 448-5732. That's 877-448-5732. You can visit their website at LexisNexis.com to obtain a copy of the report. Uh, another company out there, Experion Rent Bureau. They uh, receive uh, rental payment data from its national network of property management companies out there. Uh, and this data is accessed by resident screening companies for use during their application prospect uh, process for prospective residents and tenants out there. And of course, you can order a copy of your Experion Rent Bureau history by Contacting uh, Experian at www.experion.com. The upper right-hand corner, you'll see Rent Bureau, and you can order a copy of that uh, particular report. And, of course, there's another agency out there that provides tenant screening information. It's called CoreLogic Safe Rent. And a Safe Rent file may include criminal history information, uh, landlord-tenant records, as well as rental performance history. Uh, consumers out there, they can obtain a copy of their consumer file by calling 888-333-2413. That's 888-333. Three 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 two four one three. You can request a copy of your consumer disclosure uh, by CoreLogic at that number. That's one of the big agencies there. And of course, today check writing history, check systems that nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency uh, collects and maintains information from member financial institutions such as banks and credit unions. You know, if your bank closes your checking account because of insufficient funds or a problem, they may report you to check systems. You can give them a call at 800 428 Nine six two three. That's eight hundred four two eight nine six two three. You can also go online to www.consumerdebit.com. That's consumerdebit.com. And of course, the Scan Network, the Shared Check Authorization Network. That number for Scan is eight hundred two six two seven 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 one. That's eight hundred two six two seven 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 one. And of course, their website is www. Dot no bounced checks.com. That's www.nobouncedchecks.com. And of course, Telecheck you know, maintains a database of return checks and instances of fraud. You know, you can call them at 800 835 3243. That's 800 835 3243. Go online to firstdata.com. That's firstdata.com. And of course, get information on them. Uh, learn more about that. And of course, the employment background screening reports. Like I said, you know what? LexisNexis provides a great copy of that report, www.lexisnexis.com. And for that specialty report, you know, that LexisNexis Screening Solutions Employment History Report, you can give them a call at uh, 800, I'm sorry, correction, 866 312-8075. That's 866-312-8075. They give you the employment. They'll give you tenant. And believe it or not, LexisNexis provides uh, the majority of information out there, and there's a lot of companies that feed off the LexisNexis report, so you'll learn a lot about that. All right, we'll talk more about specialty consumer reports, the other reports, the other consumer reporting agencies, and another time, another topic. If you have any questions for me... My name's Bill Lewis. Uh, You can give me a call at 954-337-337. Uh, 1530, that's 954 337 1530. Visit my website at williamlewis.us. Learn more about it there. And of course, this show, The Credit Report, Bill Lewis on AM 740 WSBR, each and every morning from 7 until 8 o'clock. Uh, rebroadcast at 9 p.m. and AM 1470. WWNN. Of course, you can catch it coming, get you going, show on the weekends, and of course, our show. Um, 
you can actually pick up our Facebook page, the Credit Report with Bill Lewis. There we got, uh, I don't know, what do we got? About 22,000 people. We've been cleaning up our page there. About 22,000 people are on our Facebook page. Or you can friend me personally at 4 Bill Lewis. That's the number 4 Bill Lewis on Facebook. And uh, learn more about us and check out our presence on Facebook and the other social media out there. But like I said, each and every morning, 7 to 8 o'clock, AM 740 WSBR. Get in the evening, 9 p.m. on 1470 WWNN. Of course, uh, through streaming uh, audio. You can go to the iRadio, uh, iRadio Now applications and poof, catch you coming, catch you going. And of course, as a credit service organization specializing in consumer restoration or consumer credit restoration, you know, there's a lot of companies out there that provide those services. You can always give us a call if you have a problem with that specialty consumer report as well. You know what? That music in the background means Rich is taking me out. Have a great day, everybody. Like I said, my number is 954 337 1530. Hopefully, you like the show. You want to hear it again? 9 o'clock tonight, AM 1470. W. WNN. The Credit Report with Bill Lewis is a production of William E. Lewis Jr. and Associates, a solutions-based professional consulting firm specializing in the discriminating individual, business, or governmental entity. For more information, call 954-337-1530. That's 954-337-1530. To visit The Credit Report with Bill Lewis online, please go to williamlewis.us. That's williamlewis.us. The opinions expressed on this sponsored program are strictly those of its host, guests, and callers and are not necessarily those of the station, staff management, or sponsors.